Okay, Dr. Mindy here. And on this video, I am bringing you the science behind your microbiome and your metabolism. So this is the third video of a three-part series on what you can do to unstick your metabolism and how you can start losing weight. We have heard from a lot of you guys that the quarantine has been rough on your weight loss efforts. And so I wanted to give you some very specific steps that you could do to start to unstick your weight. So please make sure you go and watch the other two series. One is on the keto variations that I like to help with weight loss and the other one is on fasting. But in this video, you're gonna learn about the microbiome and how you can actually eat food to feed your microbiome to speed up your metabol metabolism. So how cool is that? You're actually gonna learn how to eat, so you're eating so that you can speed up your metabolism. Super cool. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. Please hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I put new videos out. I put out two a week and I come to you live every Thursday for a Q&A. So if you have been enjoying my station, we love your comments. We love um, how engaged you are in our community. Thank you for sharing these videos out. We're trying to change the world with science and, and through evidence and through stepping out each one of these things that I'm teaching you here so that you guys can implement it yourself. You are born in a miracle. Your body wants to release weight. You just gotta know how to do it. So follow the steps that I lay out for you and I promise you, you're gonna get results. If you need more experience, just join us in our next Metabolic Reset. We have one starting in a couple of days where I will take you through a 15-day experience that where I combine keto, fasting, feasting, microbiome repair. We put it all into 15 days in a very uh, packed, filled uh, learning environment. You'll get to interact with me on a Q&A call and we have a ton of fun while you lose a ton of weight. So just put Metabolic Reset in the comments and we'll invite you into that. But I'm excited, great science on the microbiome. So get ready, this is a good video. Excited you're here. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanted to finish up. This is actually the third part of a weight loss series that I've been doing for you guys. We have been getting so much feedback from people about how with us all being sheltering in place and quarantine and the stress, that a lot of people are packing on weight quicker than ever before. And then you mix that with some of you have been doing keto and fasting and you're just stuck and you need some more tools on how to unstick yourself. So go back and watch the other videos that I did. I did one on my three variations of keto that I have found the most successful for unsticking weight. I did one on what fast is the best to unstick weight. And today I wanna to talk about your microbiome and how important your microbiome is in weight loss. I actually think this topic is the one nobody ever thinks about. We have gotten definitely to this point in our culture where we're very focused on fasting and keto for weight loss. And what I'm finding is that a lot of people are forgetting the importance of the microbiome. So with that in mind, I am going to include two studies. I'm gonna tell you the highlights of these studies now, and I'm gonna give you four, five steps that you can do to start to speed up weight loss. So you guys who've been following me for a while, you know that I love to give you the science, explain why it's gonna work, and then give you the steps so that you can start to implement this stuff as quickly as after this video. So let's start with the science. Okay, the first study that I found, the title of the study is called Influence of the Microbiome on Metabolism, uh, Diet, and uh, Your Overall Moods and Behaviors, okay? so. First thing that I wanna talk about in the study, and I, and I pulled out some key quotes. One of the quotes shows says that there is growing evidence that suggests your gut microbiome influences what you are able to extract from your diet, both nutritionally and energetically. Okay, so I just wanna start off with that one key concept here for a moment. What that statement is saying is that it doesn't matter as much what you eat, it matters what the microbes are inside your gut that are gonna take that food and turn it into neurotransmitters, to hormones, to B vitamins, to what they're gonna do to speed up your metabolism. So it isn't the quality of the food 
that is going to affect your health as much as the microbes that are in the gut and what they do with that food that you feed them. So stop and think about that for a, me- a moment. If you are eating foods that are killing those microbes, then the net, and all of a sudden one day you decide, oh, I'm gonna eat healthy again, you're dealing with a microbiome inside your gut that is completely decimated of healthy microbes. And so you're gonna have to keep changing your diet for a pretty significant period of time to be able to grow those microbes back. So, and I'll explain what you can do at the end of this video to actually grow those microbes back. So quality of food, yes, it's important. We love the keto diet, but more important according to this one study is the microbes that are inside your gut. Now, let's go to the second phase of this article. It talks about that researchers have found that people who have a greater amount of Firmicutes bacteria compared to Bacteroides um, had uh, that that obesity correlated with an increase of Firmicutes and a decrease in Bacteroides uh, microbes, okay? And they actually went on to say that if you had 60% Firmicutes, I like to call it Firmicutes, just sounds a little more fun, Um, then Bacteroides, Bacteroides 40%, that that ratio is what will set you up for weight gain. So think about that for a moment. You're trying to change your diet, you're trying to change your diet, and you're not getting the result that you want with weight loss. What if we start changing your microbiome? What if we worked on changing your, your, your balance of Firmicutes to Bacteroides? And this is, we'll talk about this again at the end. But I want you to have that mind shift that we have gotten so stuck in thinking that it's the quality of food when really it's the quality of the microbes that are gonna have determine your weight, weight loss effectiveness, okay? So second thing that I found was an article that showed that it is the diversity. So that one showed us that it was the ratio of Firmicutes or Firmicutes as I call it to Bacteroides. This article showed that it's actually your microbe diversity that will affect if you are obese or not. The actual quote was the microbial diversity of obese patients is lower than the diversity, the microbiome diversity of healthy individuals. Okay, well this one is actually pretty easy. This is uh, really about expanding the amount or the diversity of foods that you are bringing into your diet and into your gut. Let's use uh, a salad as an example. We know that fiber, and especially raw greens, I love to, to emphasize how much we need to be eating raw greens. So we know that raw greens are going to feed these good bacteria and then those good bacteria in turn are gonna come over here, help to pull the nutrients and and get the energy out of your food and are gonna speed up your metabolism. But you have almost 6,000 different types of microbes in your gut. So what happens if you are eating the same thing over and the same greens over and over and over again? What you do is you are only narrowly feeding one set of microbes and you are, you are starving out the other ones. So there are a couple of things I recommend you do. One, if you haven't done a gut zoomer test, do a flip and gut zoomer test. It is a stool test. It will tell you what your Firmicutes to Bacteroides balance is, and it will tell you what your diversity is. Do you have enough diversity? It'll even go on as far as to tell you if you have the specific bacteria that will control metabolism. So it is my absolute favorite test. It's called a gut zoomer. Just put gut zoomer in the comments and, and we'll send you a link on where you can order one and do one on yourself. So the first step is know what's going on in the gut. But then the second step is if we know we need to expand the diversity of our microbiome in order for our microbiome to do what it needs to do with the food we're eating, then we actually need to expand the diversity of the foods we're eating. So if I'm eating romaine lettuce over and over and over and over again, thinking that I'm feeding my microbiome, I'm only feeding a small group of bacteria. 
Whereas if I, like when I make a salad, I, I think I've mentioned this before, I put chard and parsley and romaine and kale and collard greens and I cut all that up, put some seeds and nuts and hemp seeds and flax seeds, pour all that into a salad because I know that that greens is there to feed. It's like fuel for these bacteria in my gut that are gonna give me neurotransmitters and speed up my metabolism and keep my immune system strong. So diversity is key. And why I picked these two studies is because so many of you are banging your head against the wall trying to get a result with weight loss and you're doing it through keto and fasting, which is great, but you need to add in this diversity of greens. You need to add in this, this look and this focus on your microbiome. When you add that in and you mix it with keto and fasting, you'll lose weight. It'll be amazing, I promise you. I consult people every single day that are hitting these walls and they make a few changes like this and boom, all of a sudden they drop weight, okay? So we know now that your microbiome controls metabolism. We know now that your microbiome controls how, what, uh, what, what you get out of these, this food that you're eating. So what do you do now? You're sitting here at this spot, you wanna lose weight, you heard what I just said, what can you do? Okay, so there are five steps that I created for you. And this is, I, I think in terms of checklists. So the first step, start with keto, okay? So now start with the three styles of keto that I recommend on the video that I did last week. So go to those three styles and make sure you are eating those three styles, okay? Second thing, make sure that you're fasting. So for microbiome repair, for gut repair, those of you who have followed me for a while, hopefully you know that I'm a big fan of the 24-hour fast. I feel like the 24-hour fast for gut repair and weight loss is magic because when you go 24 hours, you reboot your intestinal stem cells, so you create a, a better environment for these, these good bacteria to grow, so you create a better environment, plus you're going long enough that your body's gonna start to burn some of the insulin and glucose that you stored years ago. So add in a 24 hour fast, once a week, twice a week, you could do it more than that. If, if you're on a fasting groove, add in more than that. Okay, here's where the microbiome comes in now. Third step, so you're doing the three variations of keto I talked about, you are adding in more 24 hour fast. Now I want you to open up your plant diversity. I want you to be looking at all the different vegetables that you can feed, all the different seeds, all the different nuts. I want you to dive into diversity. Start counting how many different vegetables, nuts, and seeds you're getting in in a week. I recommend, we call it the plant diversity score. I recommend that at a minimum, minimum, you're getting 50 different types of plants every week into your diet. If you're not doing that, then you are not feeding your microbiome well enough, and therefore, it may not be speeding your metabolism up the way that you would like it, okay? Fourth step, on a regular basis, on, and, and you could even do this at every single meal, I want you to look at your plate and say, do I have a probiotic food? Do I have a prebiotic food? And do I have a polyphenol food on this, in this meal? So probiotic foods are things like um, uh, sauerkraut, kimchi. We've talked about a lot about that, the raw kefirs. Prebiotics, here's something really interesting about prebiotic fibers. There's actually some research showing that it will reduce your appetite and can improve your insulin sensitivity. My favorite prebiotic food is hemp seeds. Pour hemp seeds onto everything. Hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, um, asparagus, leeks, onions, uh, a lot of those fibery foods will feed, a prebiotic food is it's feeding those bacteria that you want working for you, okay? Polyphenol foods, these are your olives, your almonds, your walnuts, even your red wine. Uh, again, this is why we're a fan of dry farm wines because it is an organic wine that can actually help your microbiome. If you're not familiar with dry farm wines, put Dry Farm Wines in the comments and we'll send you links to them, but they're the only wine I know that will actually support a healthy microbiome. All other wine is gonna destroy it. Chocolate, 
some dark chocolate, but organic, not with no, with like stevia or urethritol is good, or or um, maybe you need a little bit of coconut sugar, but dark chocolate can feed your microbiome. Olives, olives are amazing. I mentioned that before. Okay, so step four is you're gonna start to look at every single meal. What on my plate is feeding my microbiome? Do I have a probiotic food? Do I have a prebiotic food? Do I have a polyphenol food? And then the fifth step is you're gonna create a variation plan. So, and I put these in steps. So I want you to start with the first one and checklist. So you don't wanna create a variation plan if you haven't had if you're not doing different styles of keto, if you're not doing fasting, if you're not working on plant diversity, it doesn't make sense to do some of the variations I've taught here, like the 511 and the 331 and the 421. I got a whole bunch of different variations. So it doesn't make sense to do those if you haven't done those first four steps, okay? So again, I bring this to your attention because you can lose weight. Your body was designed to let it go, let go of the excess. So, but we've got to understand why that excess is there. I've talked on other videos about how sometimes the excess is there because it's where your body's storing glucose, it's where it's storing toxins. Well, the excess is also there because your microbiome from antibiotics, from birth control, from antibiotic rich meats, from even the hand sanitizers, all the things we've done to decimate the good bacteria You've done it over and over and over again, and you no longer have these good bacteria working for you. So we've got to get them in, we've got to feed them, we've got to regrow them. So that's why I wanted to bring this on this weight loss series to you guys. Now, if you're like going through the series, you're trying to understand how to put it all together and you're stumbling, this is why I created resets. So we have a metabolic reset coming up in three days and um, it is there for you to understand how to use these different principles for your specific needs. We take small groups, we take you through an experience of all this information I teach here. You're gonna lose weight in the process, but you're also gonna learn what variation works best for you. You're gonna work how to feed your microbiome. You're gonna learn how to fast in the way that works best for you. So it's a real experiential, um, treat. We love doing it. and We love empowering you so that you understand how you should operate with this material. Because the way that you lose weight, the way your friend loses weight, the way your, your partner loses weight may be totally different. We got to understand your body and that's what our resets are there for. So just put metabolic reset in the comments and we'll invite you in. Again, depending on when you're watching this, we're doing another one in a couple of days. So please sure be sure to sign up quickly. Once that reset starts, we shut it down. So, and then we'll do another one, okay, in a couple of months. Okay, so there you go, your microbiome, it is flipping important. I wanna show you this thing, I wanna end on this. I actually bought this at Whole Foods. It's called Happy Belly. And it's like the perfect ketobiotic treat. It's a perfect example of everything that I'm talking about. It's got cucumber and fennel and lemon and mint and ginger and probiotics in it. So something like this is feeding my microbiome without raising my blood sugar. That to me is the perfect ketobiotic meal. I've been, I broke my fast about two hours ago and I've just been sipping on this for the last two hours. So that's how I look at things. Um, that's how I address my own microbiome and what I do to support my own micro microbiome while living a fasting lifestyle. Okay, let me know if that helps. Give me feedback. And if you wanna join us in the reset, just put metabolic reset, you can join us. If you wanna dive into your gut, understand your gut, do a gut zoomer test and we'll give you a report on that. So, but as always, don't give up on yourself. Please don't give up on yourself because you can drop weight. You just, you gotta know the science, you gotta understand the principles and then you gotta work the principles and find the right one for you. So as always, I hope that helps. <laughs>